The overall goal of the following experiment is to evaluate the dynamic structural preferences of the V3 crown peptide sequence of the R2 strain of HIV via Arbinitio folding and to correlate the results with known neutralization sensitivities of the R2 strain. This is achieved by selecting an appropriate fragment of the R2V3 loop crown to fold Arbinitio. As a second step, the simulation of the folding is performed which searches all of the possible conformations of the R2 crown fragment and records the most likely conformations in a stack file. Next, the recorded conformations are analyzed to determine the dynamic structural preference of the R2V3 crown that might explain its neutralization sensitivity. Results are obtained that show a preference for a rigid beta strand at positions 12 to 14 of the V3 loop based on secondary structure preference and energy distribution of the stack of searched conformations. Hello, I'm Timothy Cardozo speaking to you from my laboratory in the Department of Pharmacology at New York University School of Medicine. Today we will show you a procedure for ab initio protein folding of a flexible loop on an immunogenic HIV-1 viral protein known as GP120. The flexible loop is known as the V3 loop of the surface envelope glycoprotein of the HIV-1 virus. And its tip is known as the crown of the V3 loop. This is the region we will be folding. We use this procedure in our laboratory to help us identify productive pathways towards successful HIV vaccine designs. So let's get started. 